so geometrical interpretation of a criteria for convergence geometrical interpretation geometrical interpretation interpretation you may also say this one is a remarks so <coughs> what is a geometrical interpretation what is the condition condition is a mod of a phi dash x is a less than 1 less than 1 for all x belongs to i belongs to a b containing the root containing containing the root containing the root alpha suppose alpha with the root ok. Now, what is the meaning of this one phi dash x is a less than 1. So, if we write a phi dash x what is the value for phi dash x phi dash x lie between what lie between minus 1 to 1 lie between minus 1 to 1. So, here there are two type of a convergence monotone convergence first one is a monotone convergence monotone convergence monotone convergence convergence and second one is a spiral convergence spiral convergence spiral convergence convergence spiral convergence a spiral convergence. So, in which situation there is a monotone convergence and in which situation in which condition there is a spiral convergence. So, here this one is a remarks basically geometrical interpretation after that we discuss about a geometrical interpretation this one is a remarks one remarks you may say this one is a remarks remarks one. So, monotone convergence if what here if phi dash x is a greater than 0 and less than 1 then there is a monotone convergence and if phi dash x phi dash x is greater than minus 1 and less than 0 means if value lie between minus 1 to 0 then there is a spiral convergence in value lie between 0 to 1 then there is a monotone convergence. <laughs> now, in a previous lecture we discussed about this one what is the monotone convergence and what is the spiral convergence. Now, what will happen if a mod of a phi dash x is a less than 1 what is the meaning of this one. Geometrically meaning of this one is a suppose here we consider this one suppose this one is a y equal x this one is a y equal x this one is a y equal x y equal x and suppose this one is a phi x this one is a phi x this one is a phi x phi x phi x and suppose we started from the this value x 0 we started from here this one is a x 0 this one is a first approximate value initial value lie between a and b. So, x 0 so what is the value of a phi x 0 if we draw the perpendicular here this one is a value of a phi x 0 phi x 0 what is the x 1 then we find a what then we find a point of intersection with y equal x and this one is a what this one is a value of x 1 this one is a value of x 1 then value of a phi x 1 is a here this one is a phi x 1 phi x 1 then again we find the here this one is a next root x 2 and similarly we find a x 3 x 4 or where is the root root is here this one is a alpha this one is a alpha as number of a iteration increases we approach to the root alpha. Now, closely observe this point this point phi x 0 
and the value of a y at x equal x zero. Phi dash x is a what? Phi dash x is a what? Slope. Phi dash x zero. Phi dash x with a slope. Slope. So, what is the value of phi dash x zero? Phi dash x zero is a slope. Slope at x equal x zero. At x equal x zero. So, if we closely observe, this one converges. Basically, this one is called monotone convergence. As the number of iteration increases, we proceed to the value or to our actual root. And this one is a here one a special name, also known as a staircase behavior. Behavior of a means a sequence. Behavior of a sequence is a staircase. A staircase. Staircase, staircase behavior, behavior, staircase behavior. So here, if we closely observe the slope at y equal x at x equal zero and slope of a phi x at x equal zero. So in this case, this one is a case of a what? Monotone convergence. Monotone convergence. Monotone. Convergence, convergence, monotone convergence. Means, uh, what is the sequence? Sequence is uh, here. We find x zero, then we find x one, then we find x two, then we find x three, then we find the x n, and here there is alpha. So, as the number of iteration increases, we approach to our actual root alpha. So, x zero. So, what is the criteria for convergence? Criteria for convergence is a mod of phi dash x is a less than one. So, what will happen here? If a slope at x equal x zero is a less than slope at x equal x zero of a y equal x. So, what is the slope of a phi x? Slope of a phi x is a phi x zero. And what is the slope of a y equal x? Y equal x. Slope of a y equal x. Slope of a y x. Equal x is a slope become what? Slope become dy by dx means a one. Slope at this point is a one. Slope at this point is a phi dash x zero. So this will converge only if slope at phi x zero is a less than slope at y equal x. So that's why this condition arises. Means a if slope At x equal x zero means a phi dash x zero is a less than slope at y equal x is a one, and this is true for all values of a class interval containing the root alpha. So this one is a true for x zero. This one is also true for x one. This one is also true for x two. This one is also true for the x n because at x one, what is the Value of a slope of a phi x is a phi dash x one. What is the slope at y equal x is a one. So if the slope at phi dash x zero is a less than one, phi dash x one is a less than one. Similarly, phi dash x n is a less than one. In whole, you may say that mod of a phi dash x, phi dash x is a what? Less than one. Why this one is called mod of a phi dash x is a less than one? In a second case, suppose this one is a situation. This one is a situation. This one is a y equal x, and suppose this one is a function phi x. This one is a y equal x, y equal x, and this one is a y equal phi x, y equal phi x. Suppose we choose the what? We choose this one is a first approximate value x zero. This one is a first approximate value x zero. This one is a first approximate value x zero. What is the value of a function at this point? This one is a phi x zero. Phi x zero. What is the x one? If we draw the tangent here, this one is a what? This one is a value of a x one. This one is a value of a x one. How we find the x two? 
the value of a function at here, this one is a phi x 1, phi x 1, again we draw the tangent here, then draw the tangent here, then this one is a value of a what? This one is a value of a x 2. Then again find the value at function, this one is a phi x 1, phi x 2, then this one, this one, this, this, like this one, where is alpha? Alpha is here, alpha is here. I mean this one is a point of uh, x 3, here this is x 4. So, if we closely observe this pattern, this behavior, so there is a formation of a spiral, a spiral due to this reason, this one is called a spiral convergence, a spiral convergence, a spiral convergence, convergence spiral convergence. So, there is a formation of a two sequence, one is approaches from left hand side and another is approaches from the right hand side, means one sequence is a what? x 0, x 2, x 4, this one approach to the alpha, second one x 1, x 3, x 5 approach to the alpha means uh, there is a formation of a two sequence, two sequence and both sequence approach to the alpha as n tends to infinite, as n tends to infinite. So, what will happen here, if we closely observe the slope at this point and slope at y equal x, slope of a uh, phi x at x equal x 0 is a what? in modulus less than 1, but this one is a between 0 to minus 1 with a negative sign, means a slope have a negative sign. So, if a mod of a phi dash x is a what? Mod of a phi dash x 0, phi dash x 0 is a what? Less than slope of a y equal x. So, less than basically less than 1 here it be talk about a mod of a phi dash x 0. If we talk about a phi dash x 0, then this one is a lie between 0 to minus 1. So, that is why means a phi dash x 0 in this case lie between less than means a lie between what 0 to minus 1. That is why if we combine the spiral convergence and monotone convergence, what is the condition? Condition is a mod of a phi dash x is a less than 1 for all x belongs to i containing the root alpha, containing, containing the root, containing the root alpha, containing the root alpha. So, what is the summary of this lecture? Summary of this lecture is a, if any function is a given, either that function is a uh, that equation not a function means f x equal to 0 then this become a equation. If any equation is a given either algebraic equation or transcendental equation then in a fixed point method first of all we write the given equation in form of a x equal phi x then we choose the choose an interval in which the root uh, which contain the root alpha. Then we check mod of a phi dash x is a less than 1 for all point of a that interval, then if we choose any initial value, initial approximate value from that class interval, then the sequence obtained, the sequence of approximation obtained from the fixed point iterative scheme of a fixed point method, we able to converse to our actual root alpha. So, this one is all about uh, this lecture.